I am Honorary Pass Grandmaster Norris L. McVeigh Sr. Born September the 22nd, 1929 in Welder, Texas. At the age of six, my family and I moved from Welder to San Antonio, Texas. I attended elementary school and I also attended and graduated from Wheatley High School in San Antonio, Texas. I got married, worked for contractor. My family and I all was cement contractors. I worked as a contractor for years. After I got married, my family, I had two children. They grew up, they went to college. At this time, I've been married 66 years. I'm 84, 85 years old, and I still love to go to the large meeting, the large hall, and meet with the brothers. I had a successful life. I was a contractor for 30 some years. I'm a deacon in my church, chairman of the trustee board, chairman of the finance committee. And I've been the chairman of the trustee board for about 30 some years and still the chairman of the trustee board. For years, I stayed there and worked hard. And I think I did a good job. My social life, I'm a mason. I was a Optimus Club, I joined the Optimus Club. I worked at the city as a commissioner for four years, city commissioner for four years in San Antonio for housing. I was vice president of San Antonio Development Agency in San Antonio. I worked there and then I become the president. For years, I worked with that committee. I worked in various places in the city and I've did quite a few things. And I like to travel a lot. Not to brag, but I've been to Hawaii three times on vacation, my wife and I. And I've traveled to all the 48 states except two. And I'm still at my church and going to my lodge meetings. And I owe it all to a few brothers at my church, at my lodge that keeps me going. When I was young and was old enough to know the difference between masons and cement workers and all that, I saw my father one day when I was in the house. He dressed up in a black suit, and I was young then, real young. And I kept asking my mother, what is daddy going to? And she told me that your dad is a mason. I was very young at that time. And I said, I want to be like one of them. I looked at the way he was dressed with this black suit on, this bow tie. It just impressed me to say that that's what I want to be when I grew up. I didn't know anything what Mason was, but that suit and the way he dressed and the way he carried himself made me want to be one. And when I grew up and I was 21, I joined the Mason. I joined the Mason. And I think that if you have a desire for something and it's something good. I've been in there 55 years in the masonry and stayed in Santa one Lodge, San Antonio Lodge number one, for 55 years. And I was the wishful master for 13 years. I know it's 13 years too long, but it was 13 years. And I carried it on until this day is still going. San Antonio Lodge number one have never 
been closed. And to the day, it is thriving. It's doing good. And I'm just proud to be, still be a member of it. I hear a, a, a people saying, in the large, we're not visible enough. Nobody knows who we are. But I can't say that about our large in San Antonio. Our lodges in San Antonio. When Martin Luther King's day, we meet up with the rest of the organizations and real, lay a reef in Martin King's, Luther King's stature. We're visible. Everyone is there. Mayors, lawyers, doctors, and all is there. And they would like, they look at us and they say, who are those people? And then somebody will tell them, they're the Masons. That lets you know we're being seen then. And then we can't leave out the Martin Luther King March. We are real visible in the March of King, King March. Because then we have thousands of people in the march and we are in the mix of them and they see us. They know who we are then, but they see us. So we are visible in a lot of things. We go to churches, we have church meetings. We go to churches and as a mason, we have about six lodges in our town and then every so often all the, the lodges, each lodge go to some church during their year and they are being seen. We do a lot of things in the city for the young people and we are being seen. I think now a few people is noticing us the more because we are being seen in churches with young people, organizations that's helping people. So most of a lot of people know masonry. And I just like to say when you love to see the brothers is when you go to the Grand Lodge. When you go to the Grand Lodge and see hundreds of guys in those black suits, it's a sight to see. There you're there with the Grand Master and all his group. It's a sight to see. A man have to remember these kind of things. Life is short, but sometime when you get to see a lot, you remember all of that. And when you can grow old, then you can look back at the years that you went to the Grand Lodge meetings and things. Then you'll be able to tell more young people what masonry is all about. They don't know. And if you don't tell them, they'll never know. All they will see you is in that black suit. We have to be where we can go and tell people about masonry. And we don't want to forget, the older members don't want to forget that they still have something to say about masonry. They'll tell them things that the young ones do not know. And that will help them want to be a mason by the older people telling them about how they come across. I know things have changed. We don't be initiated like we used to, but it's still masonry. We have to find ways of telling these young people something that we're not the group that goes out and cause disturbance and having parties and going on. We have social call. We have social meetings that we go to. Take your wife, your children. 
This is what masonry is all about. And helping other people. Masonry is here to help other people. It's not just an organization just to say I'm a mason. You have to do something if you, you have to be something, do something. And feel that you're somebody. But it's helping others that makes you a good mason. Helping others. And being a true and upright man that the young people will see something in you that they want to be. But if they don't see something in you, your masonry haven't told anybody nothing. But you need to talk to them. Tell them how you came up. And try your best to tell them they can be just like you.